Hi guys, hope you enjoyed the Christmas holidays. Thought I'd make another quick video before the new year. And as you can see, this one's called Home Security Solutions. It's another rogue and it's doing the rounds on the internet. And what these types of rogues do is pretty much as similar as the other rogues. Gives you a fake scan and uh, shows up a load of infections that aren't on the system. This is saying that you're heavily infected and you need to remove it by paying for this product and it will remove these infections for you. Cyber criminals are doing this to actually make quite a lot of money and uh, this is how they scare scare people into paying for it now you may think that I don't fall for this type of stuff but there is a lot of people that do fall for it so what does it do well it does pretty much the same thing as most other rogues it will uh, block Windows functions ie task manager like so and all the other good tools that you may want to use and it just sort of uh, stops you from using the PC properly it also stops um, AVG ESET uh, home essentials, um, security essentials by uh, Microsoft and it stops those from running properly as well okay so let's get started anyway so first off I want to thank Malwarebytes Forum for the actual sample because without those guys I can't make these videos for you so thanks for the sample from them and uh, let's crack on so as you can see first thing you want to do is activ activate the actual product now this is the payment page Sometimes it's loads, sometimes it doesn't. I want to click on this, click here if you already have an activation code. Okay, now this is the actual part here. You can put the activation code inside here, and these activation codes I'm putting on the screen now will work with this product and allow you to register it, which then allows you to run software and remove it. Okay, and sometimes you can uninstall them. So this is where you want to activate. Okay. Now you don't want to get the product key because I've already got it and I'm showing you that. So let me just come out of here. Now the best way to remove these is in safe mode with networking. Now if you don't know how to get into safe mode with networking, I will put the instructions on the screen right now. And all you need to do is follow those instructions and that will get you into safe mode with networking. Where you this is disabled and you should be able to run some scans from that location and remove this pest. Okay. So okay, let's... Uh, crack on with the actual removal process of this now, there's numerous ways of doing these I'm going to be doing mine from the desktop but you should be going into safe mode okay so first off we can see an icon down here as you can see uh, called home security uh, solutions if we right click on this and go properties you can actually see the location and it's in programs data okay so that's a hidden folder inside Windows so you will need to show hidden files so let me um, have a look at that location but first off I just want to type msconfig now I know msconfig is going to work in this case because this is what's happening with this program it's starting up and if you look here you can see the actual program that's getting started every time we start Windows so what you need to do here is stop that from running ok and you can simply do that by removing this tick and there's also some other stuff stuff here that you can remove and I shall remove those as well but mainly this is the one for this road there may be some other remnants from other viruses on this uh, system so I don't take much notice of that but just to get a general idea of what to do so I'm going to click OK there and I'm going to exit without a restart but if I did restart this program would then not run okay so I'm just going to click here but you should be rebooting the system that's another way of stopping this from running so let's have a look where it lives anyway so I'm going to go to my computer and then we're going to go into C root directory there and what you're going to need to do is go to organize and folder and search options just to make sure that you are showing hidden files and folders and you can do that by going up to the view tab and then show hidden files and folders where I've got mine here by default yours will be there so you need to put the dot inside there and also I like to unhide extensions known for different file types so we can actually uh, see that I'm going to apply and OK that once you do that you should be able to see the program data folder which is now sort of translucent a little bit that means it was a hidden folder so I'm going to go inside here and you'll see some folders in here okay now these are the folders that are actually for this program and you can see it there with a .exe on the end of it 
that's the actual rogue that's running and there's another folder inside here as well so there's two of them inside so we want to remove these anyway you may only see one um, but I've been messing around here so just get rid of these types of rogues anyway and you can do that by either renaming the actual file and what you want to do is rename the whole end piece and you can do that by doing typing VIR as, as in virus like so and that will make it a, a funny sort of um, blank page and when you reboot that won't run as well so that's another way of killing these types of rogues off very quick and easily okay now I'm not going to do both of them because I want to show you another method anyway but mainly you can um, use programs to stop these processes processes like uh, rkill that will kill the process or iexplore is another program and you can do that okay so let's have a look at the actual UVK portable now this again will actually stop the process and delete it as well and we can come up to process manager and we'll look inside here and you're looking for the actual rogue that is running and it's this is but this is the one here okay that's the culprit so what we can do is just quickly kill that off like so and we want to come to kill process and delete file and you should see the one disappear up the top like so and that was a uh, pretty painless really but once you've done that you can then run um, run scanning software as, as in malware bytes uh, spyware doctor uh, and stuff like that super anti spyware hitman pro any of these types of programs should clear up this the remnants of that uh, infection so let's uh, go ahead and quickly run that so what I'm going to do here is going to do a quick scan on this one always do the updates first and malware bytes is a very powerful tool and this should remove a lot of rogues if not all of them so we'll do a quick update it's always best to update first to get the latest definitions now you should do a real full scan here on the system if you're infected I'm just going to do a quick one for this uh, video now why that is doing that scan what I'm going to do here is this messes around with your host file and also it changes some proxy settings so if you have got a proxy set up on here what you want to do is you want to come up to tools here now if you don't see that it's because it's hidden on there and it will be like this and you then right click up the top and show the menu bar and it gives you these little icons up the top you want to come here and then go internet options once you go there you want to go into connections and then LAN settings and you want to make sure there's no ticks in down here this is for the proxy make sure there's no proxy now if you're looking at um, if you're looking at another one here just um, open up this one and what you want to do is go to tools this is Firefox options same thing really you want to come up to advanced here on the advanced tab then come to network and then it'll say config uh, connection configure how Firefox connects to the internet settings and you want to make sure there isn't a proxy inside here you may have something like this where you've got proxies set up you need to remove those okay okay next thing you want to be doing once the scans finish like this we can then view what's going on here and as you can see there has been lots of changes to the registry and this will actually remove all those as you can see it's a fair few there well it's quite a lot okay so we're going to remove all those and just let that remove okay that's nearly done now it's going to ask to reboot but I'm not going to reboot just yet okay there we've got the log file as you can see always best to keep the log files to let you know what's been changed and what's uh, not been done and it gives you an idea of what's been happening with the system so I'm just going to say no for this right now 
and I'm going to reboot in a second so we can close that off so it's always best to run TDSS killer as well like so just to make sure no rootkits have been dropped on the system and once you've done that pretty much you can see there's a rootkit that's been actually dropped on this system by this rogue and that's really important to cure that so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the options here now you can see this is what it is TDSS TDL4 now you can uh, cure it restore it I'm going to say cure I'm going to click continue it's necessary to reboot the system and reboot the system so we must reboot now okay so we'll just let this load up I want to do the host file now we can do this in numerous different ways if I go to my computer C drive then Windows and System32 once we're in there we want to go to drivers and then there's a folder in there called ETC now you can't see the, the actual host file and that's because this program's hidden it and we need to change it because it's got some changes into it so what we need to do is we're going to use this host permissions file and this is this file here okay now you can get that from bleeping computer I will put the link in the description so we can actually run as administrator like so and we should now see our host file as you can see it's there it's now showing that so what we want to do here is replace this file so I'm going to delete this file and I've got another copy of it on the desktop here I'm going to copy this in and paste that straight in there like so and say yes and there we go you can also use programs like this host expert which is a very good program for replacing actual host files now that was hidden as you can see and that's because of the actual um, virus as I said and this is another good one you can just re restore and replace this host file now we're going to reboot the system okay so we're at the desktop now again and what you want to do here is you want to run some other scans with some other software just to make sure the system is clean again I'm going to be running Hitman Pro or something like that just to make sure but if you're running full scans with um, Malwarebytes and programs like that they're going to make sure the system is very very clean so that's what you want okay it's saying it's found some more stuff here as you can see so I'm going to run remove this right so your system should be uh, pretty clean by now if you're still wanting to do an online scan with ESET you can do that for free which is a very good uh, virus scanner for free all you need to do is come to this website hit the run ESET online scanner this will download a little installer and once you've installed that you will get something like this you just need to put the ticks in the boxes hit the start button and then that will begin to download the signatures for the database for the virus signatures okay and then that will do a full system scan of your system and make sure it's really clean now if you have only got a rogue on there you may not want to do all this but if you've got other infections then this will be a very good idea to do okay so I'm pretty sure that's the end of this video so I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from Brotech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button and show your support and rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more videos again in the new year so Everyone, I hope you have a happy new year and I'll see you again real soon. See you later. Bye.